imagine hopping on a train here in Toronto and being in Montreal in under an hour? Or how about getting to Windsor in under 30 minutes? Well, the Toronto-based creators of Transpot say that the Ontario government's high-speed rail plan is not only slower than their brand new technology, but it's twice as expensive too. It's an idea that may seem like it's a millennium away. Report to my office. Hey, yes, sir. In fact, George Jetson used something similar to get to his demanding boss in the year 2062. However, the Toronto-based creators of Transpod say this could be up and running in Ontario by 2025. It's vehicles that are a little bit shaped like an aircraft. You go on board, but it actually moves at 1,000 kilometers per hour and above on ground level. It's called Hyperloop Transit, where lightweight passenger pods are sent through a four-meter tall vacuum cylinder. The pods propelled by a frictionless magnetic levitation system. To go to Montreal, well, definitely we are uh, below the hour, so less than an hour to go to Montreal. And we're talking, uh, let's say, if you have a, a straight line between uh, Toronto and Windsor, uh, we are around 30 minutes. A futuristic premise that makes the Wynn government's promise of a high-speed rail line between Toronto and Windsor by 2031 seem not only archaic, but more costly, too. This uh, vehicle structure. These two peas in a pod say they can get it done for half the cost. $10.3 billion for their Hyperloop line versus the government's $21 billion version. So you don't need as much land as uh, for high-speed rail, so that's one example. Another is that there's no fuel on board. It's a fully electric system. I think this is where private sector should come in. Um, and, and, not, and this is something that we should not burden the taxpayers with. While the technology tantalizes this transportation expert, Murtaza Hader says it's one the wind government should take a wait and see approach on. Are we at a risk of uh, losing out? I don't think so. Are we at a risk of spending a lot of money only to realize it's not feasible? Yes. For what moving along in a pod traveling at 1,000 kilometers per hour feels like, Transpod creators say it's more subway than rocket ship. You're just pressed into your seat a little bit, kind of like when you're on a runway on a jet. And the thing that's different here is that it just lasts for longer because you're accelerating to quite a high speed. And the price tag for consumers, well, the guys over at Transpod say the cost to get to Montreal would be less than the cost of an airline ticket at just under $100.